Okay. Um, I wanted to get your thoughts and your reaction to a recent video that came out of Jermaine Dupri. Um, he's pretty much going off on Puffy and uh, goes into detail, um, a lot of detail actually, about what happened at his party in Atlanta with Big Jake. Can you tell me your thoughts on that? Yeah, I heard that. I heard that. And I love that. I love that people be speaking out and telling truth and telling the authentic stories and stuff. Y'all listen to this audio. Well, I mean, that's what Puff said that right. Shook came into told the tunnel. Him. Yeah. yeah. Came in the tunnel and told him he was looking for me. Right. Oh, he was talking about me. Right, right. Yeah, that right. yeah. A little... Come on, man. Y'all know better than that. That's not. That's not. I mean, I, we was there. I was. Right. I was there. By the way, like I said, I, I'm. I'm. I'm the guy that's been like at the forefront of everybody movement. Me and Snoop. Me and Snoop was like this. That's how. Yeah. That's how right. I came. Like. Mm -hmm. So, me having beef with Death Row never right. was like that. Wasn't even. Suge was in my office. All right. Coming to Atlanta, kicking it, like hanging out at my office. People don't know this that that beef between Puff and Suge started at my birthday party. Anyway, they had they had like they little words, right? right? And they went outside in the middle of the street, Puff and Shug. Wow. Outside in Atlanta. But it's not a just them. It's a very hostile conversation. Okay. And their crews is, 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 is... Ain't no crew. I mean, Shug oh, has wow. got one person. Oh. Puff got a crew. Oh. All I know is Puff started drinking his champagne mm. while they was talking. And Drink I some guess somebody champagne. must have said something to him. Mm -hmm. And next thing I know, you know, Wolf, rest in peace. You know, he let off a shot and mm. let off a couple of shots and Suge Man got killed right there. Wow. In Atlanta. Okay. Y'all heard that? If Jermaine Dupri would have saw Suge Knight slap, slap Puffy, as people are saying that they heard, and I've been telling you motherfuckers, Suge would have bragged about that. <laughs> Y'all know Suge, Suge would have bragged. He would have been proud to say he slapped the shit out of Puffy. He talked about fucking his baby mama. He talking about taking care of his, his sons and his responsibilities. You don't think he would have bragged about when he slapped the shit out of, out of Puffy? Y'all don't know Suge if y'all don't think he would have bragged about that. But did Jermaine Dupri say that? He said it was a heated argument. With just Suge and Big J by themselves. He said that. I said that. But did he say he slapped him? It's the first thing a nigga say when something like that happened when you're mad and responding to somebody. J JD was mad at Puffy. He would have said, nigga, are oh, you talking about the time when Suge Knight slapped the shit out of you? All right. Now, and I get it. I understand why Big Wolf, I'm sorry, Big Gene, because some people say you got a relationship with, with Wolf's mom. I don't know what they mean by that. They trying to say a sexual relationship or just a, a motherly type of relationship or a friendship type of relationship. I don't know, but he has high regards for Wolf's mom, which he should, no matter why, which he should. But you know, he then also said that Puffy Mama was trying to sleep with him and all that, so who knows. But my point to be, that's why the nigga's trying to take the shit off of Wolf. But what did JD say? Wolf shot. He ain't have no problem saying that. It's what everybody been saying. Until lately, everybody been trying to rewrite and say, oh, a guy with Wolf is the one that shot. JD wouldn't have said that. He said he saw it. He was standing right there. Trying to tell y'all, these niggas just be trying to rewrite shit. This has always been wolf shot. This has always been nothing about no slap until recently. I wish like hell. Why would I want to? Why am I up here trying to take away a faggot getting slapped in his motherfucking mouth? A nigga that is obvious I don't like. Don't like too many New York niggas, to be honest. But that's Reg, for whatever reason. There's a documentary out right now that I want to tell y'all about to watch. Go watch that Reggie Jackson documentary. 
kind of like that, even though I ain't never cared about no Yankees. It's on Amazon. Check it out. But, hey, I'm biased. Everybody always get mad. Why? Why is Tupac? Why is Biggie? Everybody took sides back then. That's why Reggie always speak on this or this or say this about why you had a problem with Biggie. Because I wasn't living in 2023. I was living in 1997. After Tupac died, you took a side. No, that's too deep for a lot of y'all. But niggas that was around, that was at least 20 years of age in 1996, 1997, tell me in the comment section you didn't take a side. Y'all gotta learn the areas y'all living in. Everybody took sides. So that's why when I speak negatively on Big and all of that, or, or New York and all of that, that's all it did, because that's the air I grew up in. That's what was going on in my life back then. No, no I don't care about <clears throat> East Coast, West Coast, South, and all that. We, we passed that now. But in 1990, three, four, five, six, seven, or maybe four, five, and seven, and eight, and 99, everybody was picking sides. You gotta learn that. That's the only reason I ever spoke negatively on Big when I did, because that's how I felt. Well, my point to that is just to go back to the, the answer to the question, that's how JD would have said it, if that's what happened. Listen to what JD said. So I listen to what the other dudes are out there putting out there for whatever their motives are. Because of their hatred for Puff. If y'all really listen to it, they all don't like Puff for whatever reason. <laughs> yep, my opinion.